Hello everyone, welcome to my first day of school. Specifically, my last first day of school ever. ever. Wow. This morning I took it pretty slow. I feel like any other year I would have woken up earlier, but I'm kind of a washed up senior now. So my first class is not until 11 and I'm about to leave, but I did my usual routine. I already had my outfit picked out. Oh, you know, you know how it is. You know, you, you lay your outfit out on your bed the night before and then it gets you all giddy and ready. Quick rundown on my outfit. This top is from Meow. And then my bralette is from Ratboy. This skirt is from a small designer. JC the star label, question mark. Jeans are Everlane. And I'm gonna be wearing my Asics Celia Bonson collab. I feel really cute. I feel really cute. Before our commute, I wanna do some winding down, kinda of reset my mind, be ready for the day with Headspace, who also is the sponsor of today's video. With a jam-packed schedule for senior year, it's really easy for me to get caught up in the fast pace of college life. But Headspace helps me find my work-life balance and navigate all those responsibilities and multitasking by grounding myself in regular meditative practices. You might recognize this voice. Some problems in life are inherently big, others, a much smaller. The soothing voice is actually not an unfamiliar one for me. I've been using Headspace since high school, and what I love about Headspace is it makes meditation simple and accessible. It helps you create life-changing habits to support your mental health and find a healthier, happier you. Even though I try, I don't always meditate every single day, but the cool thing about Headspace is they have so many different kind of exercises to adapt to your schedule. They have mindful walks and runs, breathing exercises, sleep content, focus playlists, and more. Headspace usually has a seven day free trial, but they created a special trial just for y'all. 60 days free. So be sure to check it out. I highly recommend if you're a college student or if you work a nine to five, the link is in my description box. And thank you to Headspace for sponsoring this video. Your camera you here. Left your camera. Hey! He can't see you. Hey! Ah. <laughs> we reach. Ah. Reach. <laughs> Bye. How do I stop this?
Hello everyone, I just made dinner. It was very quick dinner. Originally I was planning on cooking something a little bit more elaborate, but I am leaving town tomorrow and I realize I don't really need leftovers. I don't think I've actually talked about this yet, but I am going to Boston because I have a speaking engagement. <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like, am I getting married? Are the wedding bells ringing? I am speaking at this conference. I don't get to spend a lot of time there because I need to be back on Saturday for school. Yeah. Anyways, I am thrilled and honored to have this opportunity, but I'm just a little stressed because, you know, it is the first week of school and I still have not packed or thought about packing. Luckily, I'm only gonna be there for one night, so I don't have to pack a ton. I'm gonna try just to fit everything into a carry-on or even my backpack. Please peel some dum dum or rambutan with me and let's talk about why I feel like my life is falling apart. So this morning I woke up, was ready for today. I checked in for my flight to Boston and my flight is at 6 p.m. I'm like, perfect. I'm gonna go to class today, take my stuff with me to campus and I go straight to the airport afterwards. But my dumb ass, my dumb ass did not check the conference schedule carefully before planning this flight apparently. Because I thought I was speaking tomorrow and I already called in to all my classes. It's just syllabus week, told them I was gonna miss it. But I'm actually speaking today in two hours, theoretically. But there's no way I can get myself to Boston by 1.40 p.m. when my flight is scheduled at six. It's currently like 11. I just. I don't know, I just feel so stupid. I emailed them, like, I don't even know if I like should still fly out. I just didn't realize that like, oh, that my flight leaves at 6 p.m. I'm trying to have this like, it's gonna be okay attitude, but I'm actually just freaking out on the inside right now because usually I do have my shit together. Usually I gcal everything. I have everything planned down by the T. I feel so I feel stupid. stupid. I'm gonna find a way to like make it up to them somehow because I feel so bad. They're paying for everything for me to come out and speak and I'm like missing my panel. Like I feel like an idiot. I feel so Anyways, still planning on going to class and I'm just eating this fruit that my friend's mom gifted me a week ago. Fresh fruit. What was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Hello, I made it to the hotel and they gave me a room with doubles and I guess I can just pick and choose which side I want to sleep on. Here is my view, it's a bunch of skyscrapers and somehow I am mentally so tired even though I'm so caffeinated right now because I had a Dunkin Donuts iced coffee. Feeling a little hungry and so I think I'm gonna order some food in and then try to go to bed at a normal time. I need to finish editing a video that's going up tomorrow and I also need to email my professor but we're here in Boston. We made it. Wait, okay, y'all. You know how Google Photos or Apple Photos will compile little albums, make little compilations? Well, I just got a Google Photos compilation of when I went to New York the day before my senior year of high school 
to interview James Patterson when YouTube Originals flew me out. And this is so wholesome because I'm literally, I'm also doing the same thing my senior year of college where I flew out for this conference. That feels so full circle. Wow. <laughs> Hello everyone, Voice of Berlin's gonna jump in and give their thoughts about this conference. We started off the day with an adoptee speaker series. One of the speakers talked about their Vietnamese refugee story and I was literally sobbing into my fruit. Hello guys, this is Polly. Kind of the reason why I'm here. Yay, Polly! I love Polly. We met because Polly used to go to grad school at Georgetown and we connected and I got involved with NAP. It is always so wholesome to see a community come together and support one another. There were such amazing panels on activism community organizing and i felt like i just got to sit back and soak in all the knowledge and wisdom and listen to people's lived experiences and at the end of the day i also took a little bit of a break because you know i get socially tired sometimes got myself a coffee and spent some time by myself and then before you know it i literally spent 24 hours in boston and i had to fly back for an obligation i had in dc thank you nap i appreciate y'all I am back from Boston. Today we had our club fair. So I went to table for mutual aid and for my Vietnamese student association that I'm president of. That was really fun. It was so hot though. So when I got home, I took a nap and I also got pho with my friends, Angela and Yuki. And if you're like, Lynn, didn't you just have pho? Yeah, and what about it? Price of happiness is 1045 at Fuss 75. So, well, Kayla's being so cute right now, y'all. I had such a great time in Boston. Thank you, Nap, so much for flying me up. But now it's time to return to the study grind. And for the past hour or two, I have been compiling all my readings syllabi onto my Notion. I pretty much have all my assignment and reading dates for the month of September inputted. And I also put my important dates onto my Google Calendar. I literally tell people, if it's not my Google Calendar, Calendar, it's not happening. So I'm gonna go to bed really early tonight because tomorrow I will be doing a full study day. I'm filming a different video tomorrow. So I'm gonna close out the night by watching the last episode of season two, Heartstopper. I have been so damn slow with watching this show. I have not had time to binge Heartstopper, which honestly is a little bit embarrassing because I think the episodes are less than 30 minutes. And I feel like Heartstopper is just one of those shows where I'm reacting emotionally a lot. And even though I've read the comics and I know what's gonna happen when like an important event occurs, I'm just like, ah! 
Okay, it's recording. Okay, So I was grinding away to get all my work done before Labor Day weekend because this camping trip has been in the talks with my friends since freshman year and we're finally doing it. We're going to Shenandoah for two nights and we have an entire itinerary of hiking and camping activities. We're cooking good Asian food, we're roasting s'mores, we're going to see the stars and please enjoy the next 10 minutes of wholesomeness. <laughs> Georgetown students. Wow. Does it take to put together a lawn chair? <laughs>
press the space Cause it's so hard to keep it all together Ever since we left I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was When I said in case I don't know Scorpius is probably one of my favorite constellations of them all. And Scorpius is sort of setting over in our southern sky, but it's a nice big long constellation we've got. We're ready. Horse riding. Wow, two wild horses spotted. <laughs> Yes, guys, let's load up. <laughs> guys, we're into the thick of it. <laughs> Open air, side by side, we sway there in all the colors. That 
sure something I could use <laughs> okay, I think now we're just watching the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> It's so pretty. Yeah. No, you guys are going through an arch. Oh, arch! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That is the end of our camping trip and the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first couple of days at university for senior year. I am so honored to bring y'all along for the rest of my last year here at, at college. I am so grateful for all the memories and friendships and moments of love that I've got to share with people around me and with y'all. Also, I just have to break up the, the, the cheesiness and just say, look at this house Moving Castle breakfast. It's beautiful. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and here's a reminder you can get 60 days of headspace for free with my code lin 60 day and expires on october 3rd i hope all y'all also had a great start to your fall and to your school years i love y'all so much i'll see you in the next video bye